I was having lunch with uh, a couple of the ladies that were there, and I was debating about whether I could go to, to the baths because the time as I had been there the first time, I didn't go into the baths uh, uh, where you go in and uh, they take your clothes off and they submerge you, and then you come out and um, uh, you get the experience of this actual holy water that uh, comes uh, right at the grotto, right to, at the place where... Uh, uh, St. Bernadette had seen these apparitions back in the 1850s. So I got in there and they submerged me and I came out and uh, my body was dry. It was water that didn't behave like water. I had never seen or experienced anything like that, but they say that uh, in the presence of the God realized, you know, the laws of the material world do not apply. Um, that the, even the laws of gravity and the laws of life and death and the laws of how water behaves as wetness and so on, Somehow, when you get into these, in these places where God-realized beings have been, things change. I had a transformative experience. I came back, I was talking to my children that, uh, that evening at dinner, and I said, uh, I've never seen anything like this. When I came out of those baths and I walked around, everything just looked different. My, my eyes were seeing with uh, what Castaneda called seeing with a capital S, um, seeing beyond form, seeing beyond uh, the appearances. I began to feel the, the, and just have such incredible love for everyone. Because this tour was one, something that I absolutely knew was going to be one of a miracles for all of us. That this group was going to take this experience and spread it across the planet. Just enough of us, just a handful of us, can shift the consciousness of this entire planet. We, we can do it. We are obliged to. We're called together to do it. That's what we're here for. That's what this trip is really about. It's not about you seeing all of these sacred places. It's about you putting the energy that created the reason why people come to these places into your own heart. As the Sufis say, if you don't have a temple, in your heart. You'll never find your heart in a temple. That black beret that I'm wearing, that hat that you can see me wearing <laughs> throughout after Lourdes, was something that I picked up there. There was, uh, it was something about uh, the lightness of it. And every time I put that hat on, um, I felt like uh, I felt like I was uh, right back there, back in the 1850s, with uh, with with Bernadette, uh, feeling the lightness of it. Thank you.